Hello, in today's video I would like to show you how to plan your opinion essay and how to write a body paragraph. Well, let's get started by writing how to plan your essay. How to plan IELTS opinion essay. Essays. Well, first of all, decide on your opinion. And the question is right here that it says the big salary is much more important than job satisfaction. Do you agree or disagree? Well, for this case, I'm going to disagree with the opinion where it, I want to support that the job satisfaction is much more important. Firstly, we have to decide on our side. So I'm going to mention that the first one is decide. So decide sign on your opinion the second one is to generate ideas don't just start but generate ideas first generate ideas generate ideas and then and then once you generate all the ideas you can start moving to vocabulary various and very important part actually vocabulary and after that we can start writing up after that we can start writing body part of obviously we're gonna write uh, introduction but on the previous video I showed how to write introduction so for this video I chose to write I chose to write how to write a body paragraph Firstly, uh, the question says that the job satisfaction is more important than high salary. Big salary is much more important than job satisfaction. I disagree with it and I want to support the job satisfaction part, right? So let's generate, decide. Firstly, I'm going to decide which side I want to support. So I'm going to say I want to support job satisfaction, which means I disagree with the opinion. Job satisfaction. job satisfaction. I support the job satisfaction and then we, I need to generate an ideas and examples. For example, high salary jobs are generally more stressful as we know that right, let's generate ideas. Yes. Um, firstly is high salary st stressful. Let's just gonna write stressful. Stress stressful and uh, stress leads to health problems uh, stress leads to stress leads to to uh, bad health so let's just write bad health it's just for our ideas we can improve vocabulary later on and uh, and can be really poor and uh, can be really pushy sometimes. But by that I mean it takes a third of third of the day, a third of the day. It takes a third of the day. So and uh, for this, for for me to be disagree, I I mean money doesn't bring happiness. Money. I want to just say doesn't bring happiness doesn't bring happiness I'm just gonna say age and uh, age and a better quality of life quality of life all oh, it can send sense of fulfillment of fulfillment yet yeah, we feel Great about the film and, and less stress, less stress. Yeah, let me know which side would you support in the comments because some people may choose a high salary even so if it's such stressful, some people doesn't want this, some people don't want this or don't want this. And uh, for support, I want to choose two ideas and I'll build my essay on these ideas. Firstly, let's say that uh, my, my idea, idea one, 
Idea 1 is going to be about test salary generally more stressful and can delete health problems. Okay, high salary. 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 Jobs. High salary jobs are generally. Generally more stressful. Stress. More stressful and the health problems. And for the second idea, I'm gonna write idea two. I'm going to write like job satisfaction gives a sense of fulfillment. Job satisfaction. Satisfaction. Satisfaction gives a sense of fulfillment 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 and uh, yeah let's start with the vocabulary which really really important as we're talking about it. satisfaction we need to find a lot of words related to satisfaction relate to salary and we need to replace obviously important as as we've already used a lot and for job as well Let's say this. for satisfaction, I'm gonna change your for vocal. Let's satisfaction, right? Satisfaction. So I can change vocabulary. This one achievement. Let's say, or I can say, I can say sense of well-being. Sense of well-being. I can say fulfillment. Well, I can find a lot of words, but I'm I'm giving a few as an example and for salary as well. It helps us to build a great foundation here. Instead of salary, I can say income or wages or I can say pay or earnings. Earnings and uh, for important, I can say significant value. It has more meaning. Important. I can say significant. Significant valued. Valued, or it has more meaning. All right. And uh, for, when it comes to job, that we know there are a lot of words already. For job, I can say work, employment, position, position, occupation, and other. Th so we have already this ones here and. Uh, yeah, we need to give an example as well when we are writing a body we need to give an examples a few examples that would be okay and i'll, I'll write more and uh, when it comes to body we are required when it comes to body we are required to write topic sentence explanation and example so body structure let's say body structure body structure Body structure. Well, first is a topic sentence. Topic sentence. And then I'm going to write explanation. Explanation and example. An example right here and uh, yeah we're gonna start with a topic sentence where I where I concern about the risk of stress and ill health and mostly so employees let's get started with our first one employees employees instead of workers employees earning earning a large income 
income. In, instead of writing one sentence, I made uh, this one uh, the shorter. I could have said just employees who earn a lot who earn a large income but I changed the word structure employees earning a large income I changed the word like this income are generally yeah it's better to use this kind of words like generally often this kind of stuff because it's not always the case so that you can avoid being too strict about this generally under significant 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 mental mental and emotional emotional pressure pressure to perform perform well as you can see, I use perform well, that's another collocation to perform their duties well, this kind of stuff. Well, and achieve, and achieve targets. Achieve target. That's the sentence, are we completer? And then I'm going to, ex I'm going to move to explanation sentence where I need to explain this cause This cause many individuals Yeah, you can paraphrase the sentence instead of writing many people, workers, you can just say individuals to suffer to suffer high levels of stress which which can result which can result in pose uh, mental and physical physical um, health problems or you can say health issues health issues I'm just gonna read health issues and uh, now I need to move to the ex uh, example where I'll give a clear example and uh, I'll support my view within this example for example I can say this happened to my uncle this happened to my uncle my uncle who used to who used to post about his huge salary huge salary I'm trying to use as more as a uh, paraphrased vocabulary I use here I used income here I used salary you salary however However, however, so I'm going to move here. However, the boss kept kept increasing, increasing his sales, his sales targets he sells targets and in the end in the end the stress stress became became too great too great and he had a nervous breakdown down nervous breakdown now he 
regrets being driven by the money. Yeah, well, here I want to number them by saying that because we give a topic sentence right here, first one topic sentence, and then we give an explanation right here, explanation, and our third one example starts right here. So I I hope it was I hope it was helpful for you because I tried to organize as much as possible, and uh, you can see it clearly if you pause the video for a while. And uh, yeah, you can read. I I hope you learned uh, how to write a body for opinion essay. It I don't think it was too hard to write. As I mentioned, try to write with a topic sentence, explanation, example, and that will be easy for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, in the next videos, I'll try to write for conclusion and for other essays, body paragraphs, and, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.